Hey, it's Joel. Uh, really quick. I really wanted to have a video for Wednesday, and uh, I'm prepping some projects for New York Maker Fair, which I am going to, and I will totally tell you all about how I'm getting there, what I'm going to be doing there. But uh, the projects, they, 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 they're not even. They're not even near done, and I need to get them done. But I really, really wanted to show you something cool for Wednesday, so let's film a really quick, fun, awesome, wavy Wednesday video. Hashtag wavy Wednesday. I'm Joel. This is 3D Printing Nerd. Hmm. I got some models over here. Let's see. When I was doing the Bontech install, you remember this. This model, right? It's um, it's a wavy vase that I printed. Inflexible material! And it's wavy, and this is Wavy Wednesday, but you may be asking yourself, what is Wavy Wednesday? Wavy Wednesday in the 3D printing community is when people take pictures of their really cool wavy models, usually, and show them off on Twitter with the hashtag Wavy Wednesday. In the non-3D printing community, you're gonna get pictures of hair, but in the 3D printing community, you're gonna get some really awesome wavy looking things. So I've printed a few and we have a couple to share from the community and I wanna talk about the ones that I printed. Let's get to it. The first one I want to talk about in depth is this vase. This is a Fernando Gerez model. You've come to know him on the channel, so I'm going to create some of the most awesome models I've ever seen. This is a wavy vase, or a, I guess a wavy candy bowl. I guess a vase would be taller. This was printed on the Taz 6 with a Morse Struder. And what's really great about the Morse Struder is it's got a 1.2 millimeter width. When it lays down the plastic, this happens to be color changing plastic. So when you take it out in the sun and the UV rays hit it, it turns from this cream color to a purple. And I actually teased this on Twitter not that long ago. I put out this model and I showed it color changing. And everybody was like, whoa, whoa. But you know, I have, I have a couple of these and I have an idea. Let's go outside. We're going to see if this floats in the pool. <laughs> Whoa! What? I did it! Wow. Let's see. Did it change? I did oh my see. gosh! Did it change? Woo! Did it change? Yeah. Oh, not yet. You can't go back inside yet. That changed a lot. Yeah. Okay, ready? Oh. Three, two, one, go. It floats! Yay! Riley's is doing the best. Oh, it's a competition. A little bit of water. Mine has no water in it so far. But I think it's okay. Mine's if it was cool. a Cool, they're like little purple lily pads. I want to Oh yeah. Out. You do. Oh, uh, I guess it's not good for drinks. No. Hey, thanks for helping you guys. You're welcome. It's true, Wavy Models by Fernando Gerez are incredible. In fact, I mean, look at this one. This is a Protopasta Aquamarine, I think, printed on the Simi CNC Artemis 3D printer. It's all vase mode. These are all vase mode. They're wonderful. But Wavy Wednesday isn't just about these incredible Fernando Gerez models. I mean, they're, they're great, and you will see the greatest example of them at the end of this video, so be sure and stay tuned. But for now, I want to show you some submissions. I want to I want to show you some some wavy prints that aren't necessarily vases or things that float like lily pads. You're gonna like this. <laughs> First, we have Dan, the 3D printing dad, and his version of a wavy benchy. Benchy, of course, is a benchmark model for your 3D printer. When your benchy's wavy like this, though, there are a few adjustments you most likely need to be making to your 3D printer. I thought this was a great one. It was uh, tagged on Twitter by Melvin Cruz. Here's a good one developed by the great Jack Buchanan of the Enable community and printed by Guala in Honduras. It is an Enable hand. And the idea was the 3D printed hand and such can, can wave. So it's part of Wavy Wednesday. Judges? I'll allow it. Yes, they will allow it. This one, uh, it's a stretch, but, but it's pretty good. You know Clayton is Uncle Jesse on the YouTubes and he does great videos on cosplay and cool trophy prints and Xbox related things, but he took a break from playing with his kids to dress up like Spider-Man and give me a wavy Wednesday upside down kiss. <laughs> Robot Maker Girl on Twitter, you know her as Allie. Well, now she's she's a Mythbuster Junior. It's fantastic. And Allie submitted possibly one of the better food-related Wavy Wednesday pictures. It is uh, Lay's potato chips. They're wavy. Uh, Rebecca Buckhoff. She replied directly to me and Sean with the Fernando Gerez 
candy dish that we had floating in the pool. So good job, Rebecca. It's a good looking model right there. Dasmia3 on the Twitter says, I have this Velocity painting one. Does it count? You bet that counts. Ross Rubik, you're down for what? Uh, sounds like fun, but I think I'm gonna need a hand. No doubt, a hand is very appropriate for Wavy Wednesday. My buddy JT saw Ross's post and said, here you go, and took a 3D printed hand and waved it at the picture of the 3D hand model. So that's, that's like, that's Wavy Wednesday Inception right there. You and Todd couldn't leave well enough alone, gave us a foot, thanks. <laughs> The 3D print general, does this count? It's the print I'm most proud of. While a failure like that is definitely wavy, I don't think you could get that awesomeness on purpose. I think something catastrophically has to go wrong for all of the best reasons. And it happened to the 3D print general, who by the way, in his profile photo, has the most dashing mustache this side of Chris P. Cal Ramon, you know him as a brother robot. He gave us the best 3D print fail, said it was wavy. I agree, that is a wavy failed print and it is appropriate for Wavy Wednesday. Chris over at Practical Printing gave us this wavy swirly urn. I don't know, it's an urn? Is it a vase? Is it a flower pot? It's something, but it prints great and as it swirls around, it looks kind of wavy and I think that's pretty awesome. Thanks for the print, Chris. Finally, we've got Levi uh, at Care Fun. Fudunday. Fudunday? He showed off a glow-in-the-dark print of the wavy clock that Dan the 3D Printing Dad at Mr. Careful Gamer created and put on Thingiverse. It's it's a wavy vase-like design that has numbers for a clock. And so all you need is some clock hardware and you have yourself a wavy clock. It's a great idea and it's a glow-in-the-dark wonderful wavy print by Levi. Well, finally, let's close up this video because this is just a lot of fun and I've got some projects to get back to. I really hope this inspires you to print something incredibly wavy on purpose or not for Wavy Wednesday. And don't forget when you do, hashtag it, Wavy Wednesday and tag the awesome people that got you inspired to do that. I do want to leave you with something incredibly awesome. Uh, Tom Jackson, you know him as Filament Frenzy on the Twitters, is is a print magician. This, this, this human can make printers do things that many don't think is possible. This man can tune his machines to perfection and they make things that look incredible. Not only that, he then takes them outside for a photo shoot where they glisten under the bright, bright sun. I want you to see some of his best models and his best work at the end of this video. So right now I'm gonna say, hug each other more, as always. High five, have fun with the slideshow.